Hello everybody, welcome to a modern video. We're playing Mono Black, no Cabal Coffers and Urborg. This list uh, was originated by Gabriel Nassif, who completed the challenge. Uh, the combination of uh, Cabal Coffers plus Urborg, uh, it's powerful when it comes together, it's very weak when it doesn't, or if your opponent disrupts it. So we're just going for a safer, but uh, so there is a Less power level, but less, but more consistency in this version. We have seven field of ruin effects. We have some useful lands with Blazon, Castle Lock, Twain Hive, Mirix, Shizu, and Takanuman, then 10 swarms. So that's the mana base. We have a four copies of Kalinkti Dust in our deck. Nice Whisper is better than um, Signing Blood because we have coral, a lot of Coralless mana. And of course, our combo kill is a Shoulder plus the one ring. So uh, this is the deck. Uh, we're gonna be playing no march into the worldly light as well uh, you gain life to balance the ring loss life losses with uh, uh cling to dust and shield red and extra copies of the one ring uh but yeah no uh, cling to dust is really good it's, this card is uh, like cards is going to graveyard naturally plus you have a uh, you know demolition field and field of ruin to fill it as well like you don't have fetch lands but you still like be casting card in the game so um in the cyber there's my one of my most hateful card necromancia kind of fighting that hate uh by playing it uh what else do we have kind of like a straightforward cyborg one of pithy needle with ours a saga just to draw when you need it welcome everyone to a new legacy video okay Do I keep this hand? Yes, indeed. Hope my opponent plays creatures. Classic Castle Lock Twain being a top land. I didn't want to have memories of uh, Pioneer, but I guess uh, this thing made me do that. Oh, we're playing against Affinity. Oh, Kai. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Hello. How's it going? Oh, wow. This is unexpected. Very unexpected. I'm gonna push the Topter to reduce affinity. Hard evidence. Wow. Okay, that's not affinity. The reality chip. And another hard evidence. Hmm. Uh, I could just go land go. They have enough uh, cards anyway for um, thought monitor. In that case, I'm happy to just flash in Orkish Bowmaster. I haven't mentioned it yet. I have the trophy behind me because we just trophied with uh, four color Omnath. The video will certainly be out by the time I post this other one. Okay, you want to do that. I don't like it. I'll make a sacrifice a non-token creature now. Shreds the Edict, so powerful. So, so, so powerful. They pass. Draw. Top land, go. I want to play Orc in response to them cracking a clue. It doesn't kill the crab, but it makes my thing a 2 2, and then maybe they block later. Let me know. Looks like having Orc in play is good against that deck, because they play Thought Cast and Thought Monitor most likely. I have no idea what deck that is, but. By the cards I'm seeing, I assume they play those cards. Let's see if I manage to draw a land. I do. Could have Metallic Rebuke, but it's fine if they do. If they don't, this thing just runs away with the game. Twenty life with a ring in play. It's gonna be hard to lose.
Mem Knight. Bold to play this in a world of Orkish Bowmaster. Urza, okay. Can trigger revolt by uh, sacrificing Field of Ruin. Or even sacrificing the One Ring. <laughs> They bounce bow master. I guess they have top cast or top monitor. There's a saga is totally under control in this deck because we play seven field of ruin effects. They suck a clue. They have one mana left. They did a lot of things this turn. But Feel like I'm still totally in control here. Draw two now, I go to 19. Shieldred. Nah, I mean, I get it, it's a good card, but let's just do the simple ones here. It's gonna be blow up your Saga, push your Urza. I pass, I guess land. I guess I'm also playing Orkish Bowmaster on the Memnite. And pass. And then we can do the Shield plus the One Ring combo. Gaining six life to balance the life loss. Oh, what happened? Oh, you played Pop Monitor? All right, guys. to trade okay thank you opponent for sure cutting this all right i'll bring in the nation for sure Uh, probably Pity Needle. All explosives. Pick up Thoughtseize. Mm, maybe a removal spells like Blood Shifters are also bad. Keeping all the Cling to Dust. Like a good uh, engine for the deck. Maybe one Thoughtseize is okay. You want Chalice on the play? Yeah, on the play, maybe. Edict seems worse than Thirst. The thing is that Edict can kill uh, Omna, uh, Urza. Whereas Thirst needs four mana to kill Urza. That's why I don't like Thirst. Yeah, Urza's like a on the play is decent. Needle. Oh, you can even feel the ruin. I did I have. Oh, didn't even do a new one. Right. Sure. I want to go explosives for one. I think so. I'm going to just go land go here. Should not play the uh, the field that ruined. Should have played Blast Zone. Do they have another Pithy Needle in their deck? Probably not. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, they probably don't. Anyway, I'm gonna for sure field the ruin. There is a saga. I don't want them to get another token. Holy boost. Hello! Thank you for the fourth month. 
turu, turu, tu, tu, tu. Yeah, let him uh, make a token end of turn and then I'll fill the room. Yeah. And that's a 3-3 three, three construct. I wonder if I should bait a fatal push. We'll see. Wotawara. Me to go for uh, Urza here. Let's assist. Mm. It's a little bit scary. Okay, no, now it makes sense why they played Otawara. I'm just gonna go Domination now. Here's a saga. What you do? Oh, yeah. Can I get back my flash of thirst? Probably not if it becomes a 5 5. The pithy needle you chose when I have explosives on too. Bold choice. What do I think of Bowmaster plus Days Undoing? It's the same thing I think about Bowmaster plus Shieldred. It's not legal. All magic online. Uh, do I kill the needle? Not this pass. I'll kill it in their turn, I guess. That was a good drop. So the run. Yeah, I think I'm gonna blow up this explosives. Maybe it was a mistake. Should just use Fatal Push. Now if they draw cards, I'm upset I can't... Uh... Yeah, I should, I should have used Fatal Push. I made a mistake. Because also Orc could just attack the Tezzeret. This was obviously a bait for me to pop this. And I fell for the bait. This deck needs 10 swamps, no Urborg. Like the thing with Urborg is that it's a, sometimes a trap, as in, um, as you just help your opponent. But yeah, maybe you could play Urborg. I don't know. Uh, do I play Patal Push? Now, or we just go Damnation? Let's probably go Damnation again. Yeah, that Planeswalker is going to be very annoying. He's the uh, cyber plan in uh, We're Prison. Many moons ago. I guess that was uh, 2018. Just five years ago. A second reality chip, wow. They just minus one on the Dark Sea to deal. Like, how do I deal with that? I can't. I 
I can kill uh, Tezzer right now though, so at least we got that. Then I can't play Shield Grid, which I wanted to play. And then I must keep this back to Chump Block. I have to pick up the, the blast zone to three and blow up the nettle cysts. Cards in end. Oh, I misclicked. I didn't load up the zone. Yeah, load it up now for two counters, I guess. Let's just say it didn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say it didn't matter. Because I wouldn't have used the mine anyway, so same thing. I'll misclick this time around, please. Yeah, if they just made indestructible 5-5s, five I would have died so easily this game. Yeah, there's like no ways to deal with the Doxy's hit at a 5-5. Five five. The last league went well. We, we trophied with Fur Color Omnath. We are testing out uh, the, um, the deck before up to the Beanstalk. But like... The lighted halfling was was great, so I feel like you can't cut that from the deck. Super hard to find flex slots, and also Fable has been amazing. But I don't know, maybe up the install would have been as amazing as Fable. Yeah, Edict. That's true. I have Edict to take care of the other five fives. Bye bye, natural cysts. I'm just gonna go second copy of Ultra Wire on one of these. Is that what's happening? Oh, Moon's their prototype. I need a Ragavan. Somebody bring me a Ragavan. Half the Beanstalk is a new card. One in a green, draw a card. You pay five or six, drop you draw a card. Maybe Bracton, maybe. Uh, okay, let's go on top and draw. I don't want to go shield to Edict on a crab, but maybe I should. I have two cards. Do I just go the one ring? I will draw. I should have attacked. Nettle, nettle. Going oh, all in on the crab. Is that a crab attack? I'll take it. I will take a total of zero damage. 
very harmless crab. And then I will uh, play Kling on uh, your Planeswalker. Shelly. Triggers. And pass. Remember the rules, Chuck. Uh, can you forget that you had the protection from the ring? Like, if I play the ring and say trigger, and my opponent attacks, and we write down the damage, can we forget about um, those damage? How does it work in paper? How does it work in paper? Like if you just remember to turn later, you just gain the life back? How does it work? You just gain the life back. Just take five. No, should block. Yeah. Okay, but like if you don't say anything and you take it, then you forgot. You don't need to announce the trigger. Mm, I think you need. You don't think I need? Man, I wish I didn't chum block. Respect the cat. Hello. Welcome, Raiders. Respect the guy. We got a trophy with Fur Collar earlier. Some people questioned the Fur uh, Buzaju in the 75, and I said, I just follow Respect the Cat. We did. We even beat Burn and Mill. If I didn't chump block. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Someone is you? No! <laughs> what do you do there? Are you killing my children? Is that a damnation? Is there a dismember? Is this member? Okay. No, I have too many colorless land to play sand in blood. Allura, you have two cards. Let me go like Thoughtsy's Damnation this turn. Two lands in end, I'm sure. Madonna can me. Um, yeah. The third damnation. And go. Oh, that's powerful. I think I'll uh, shield the edict now. So I can find some non token creature. Yeah, prowess doesn't need to be declared. Yeah. I guess it's the same as the ring, but if you don't say anything, then you can't go back. If you forget. So it's better to say something. Try not forget, but the rules. Um... Okay, sign the explosives can clean. Oh, 
Raw. Shelly. Draw gain eight gain eight. Suppose it's on zero. It's usually safest to explicitly announce your triggers. Yeah, for sure. All right, we got this. Cool. I'll have to refill the water. And yeah, and then we'll play around too. Round number two, let's go for a Swamp and a Thoughtseize. Grief, I don't want to see you. Go. We lost the die roll, we would have lost the game, but we won the die roll so we can keep so we can get to play magic. Point ahead, grief plus scam. Would you have a Cheney? Hello, turn for Edwin. Thank you. And welcome. Best thoughts as ever. <laughs> Mine was very good. Theirs is not great. Ooh, claim for crooks out perfect. Exclamation mark deck that gets to see all my list as well as if you have to shop from a TCG player and you want to support for free, you can uh, uh, click the link that is exclamation mark deck and then shop from uh, that uh, link. You will track the affiliate link. This is a free way to support the stream and the YouTube and uh, me and Kroxa. Uh, I think I'll discard land here, yeah. I think it's Tashizo. Or demolition field. I think Shizu. Maybe push now. Push is for Dotty. Yeah, this card Shizu. But it doesn't know about clings. So next turn I can go Dotty with a Nagmalis up. And I can um and I can go cling on the Dothy after Undying Mug is resolved. Maybe I shouldn't have, I should discard a Demolition Field. So I go push. They go Undying Malice. Oh, feign that. So it's still Undying Malice in the end. That's important to know. So that goes in the graveyard. So that goes in the graveyard, and then before it comes back, I exile the game three life. It was a two for two after all. Draw. Yeah, but I needed a land to escape it. And five cards, which I don't have. Um, I put in t actually, I think I have to also cling the crooks out here. Yeah, we'll do that. So let's just uh, cling the crooks, huh? And at this point, I can also do this, I guess. So that maybe you don't have a mountain, you don't have a season pyro mana. You do have a mountain, okay. Yeah, it's a, a Nassif list with some changes. I have zero cards in end. Let's see if they go grief. I know they have a. Okay, they have grief in end. I know they also have an undying malice effect in end. Perfect. Perfect. I guess not that perfect. Yeah, not that perfect. At some point I can scam that thing. Mm.
If you didn't draw a land, it would, be, would have been more perfect. Well, I mean, I don't think I have many choices. Sure, you'll scam it. But like, you have to, I have to discard his shoulder edict anyway, so might as well uh, let you use the scam effect. The replica has a locked way. Maybe, maybe. I just wanted to do this because if they don't have double red, so they have mounted, they can't have double red for Spyro. I think that was more relevant. Plus, I have seven of these effects. All right, zero cards each. Uh, do I want to cling now? Mm, no, I don't think there's any card that costs one mana that I don't have to play, so let's just pass. Madonna, pone, ma bricca, porca Eva. Okay. Okay. Let's go cling. I have two damnations in my deck. And the ring. Okay. The game is open. The game is open. Nice. Very nice. He just had five swamps and now we have the ring and we killed one of their creatures. They drew Fable. Pass. We are in top deck mode, so now the luckier player will win the game. Hopefully it's gonna be us. And it kinda is because it just drew the nation. A main phase orc, so that uh, if they want to loot, I'll trigger orc. Let's see. If they want to loot, they don't. We win. Woo! Luckier player wins again. Just as Richard Garfield intended. Uh, do I? Man, every card is good. I don't want to side out to anything else. I guess Bloodshed Thirst probably sucks. Yeah, Plug Engineer. I don't know for what matchups you are. Probably not for this. I mean, we won the game for several reasons. First, because we weren't the play, and the point it didn't scam us. And then we also won the top deck war. Land bomb go. Naughty. Okay. Whispers. You love Murex? I don't know. Did I do any things with the land dash sphere effect? Or do you think it's a very long-term plan? Are we going to get a cloak post effect in Modern Horizons 3? That adds a mana for any sphere you have. So you'll play for cloak post for... for what is going on? I have a new spellbomb in play opponent. I guess they're fine in trading. They traded Neospemble for Feign Death. 
Sure. And they go Knights of Whispers. All right. Maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, maybe it's not that bad. Just have like a lot of these effects. Definitely my Knights of Whispers. Okay. And they grief. Hmm. Oh, because I understand what's going on. They wanted to bait my new spell on my way so they could grave scam. But at the same time, they didn't have it on. T I guess they just drew it in this turn, the grief. Yeah. All right. Well, did I get got? Maybe. I think I was supposed to still do what I did. I wonder if uh, Nassif would have done it. Or would have, like go deep in the tank for three minutes, then do the same play I did. Probably, probably that. Okay, now what? Uh, I want to kill the Blood Crypt and give you a mountain. You can't play Dothy. I go to 14, you have four cards. Sorry, five. Do you have a third land? You do not. Okay. This turn I can go Bowmaster. Um, block and have a stone uh, uh, to make them not be able to scam grief. Of course, if they have their own bowmaster, it's going to be fine. Even fatal push. There's a million ways that this goes wrong, but my hand is three lands, so I think I have to go for it. Like if you have your own bowmaster, you got me. You don't. Hooray! It worked. Can you grief evoke? Take this opponent. I got nothing. And no thing. Minus two cards for you. Do I crack the stone? What did you pitch to the grief? Undying Malice. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was a great play to play stone in the last turn and orc this turn. Yeah, I want to draw a card. I got too little going on. And you certainly don't have orc. I'll make a token. I don't think I'm going to lose five lives to draw a card. A fable. I'll create a insect token or whatever might token and push your thing. It, 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 go demolition field on the black lip cliff i think it's fine don't make another token next turn so it can get too red again i don't know if they play spyro one infect and i just Spend 12 mana to make 4 mites, and I'm gonna fury them all the way. Hmm. Blossom on 3, you say? Oh, maybe. They discard fury land. Oh, wow, they discard land now. Hmm. Totsies? Totsies? Totsies! My favorite card. For the opponent to play against. Let's go, Mirex. 
Showed him what you can do. Ooh, a spell. That's exciting. I'm going to be casting that one. Ooh. Hmm. Sedge. I mean, it's okay. Like, I made value from this out of a land. I'll kill the orc now so that uh, they can't scam it. Another Fable, I'm taking the Blazon up to 3 here. Sorry, Murex. I'm not making any token this time around. I have a bigger goal. Like, check this out. Like, if you were playing Cabal Coffers plus Urborg, you can now play all these useful lands that I'm using, you know? Plus, you would be playing, like, Harnagra Creator and other things. Just pass. I mean, I could attack. They block with a goblin, then I go orc ping. Maybe it's free. Like, I'll end up destroys two fables. Yeah, I, I had a feeling it was going to be free. I could have Fury now, as I said. <laughs> We're going to spend a lot of resources into this and then Fury kills everything. But I haven't drawn rain yet, which is, you know, the way to beat Scam. I double block. It was better to draw a card instead of making a token. I don't know. Probably not. We both great. Hmm. I think I'll go for orc after block. <laughs> I guess I can go first clink to dust and then orc after blocks. Yeah. And then it was shielded as well. So you really think twice before drawing off a of fable now. And shielded does not die to fury. For damage, it does to terminate. Okay, they don't, they don't have terminate. And they certainly can't loot with Fable now. They're both Orc and Shieldred. I mean, I guess they can loot one. They take three, but yeah, they don't. Oh, they still can. Let's see. They take three and I grow my army. Ooh. Okay, they don't loot. The attack, this means uh, fury. This means fury. So I don't want to block a shield red. And since fury is going to kill these anyway, might as well double block. Goodbye, production might. You were, you were good to me, probably irrelevant, but 
You're good. Draw, gain two. That's whispers. Nice. Draw, gain four. I guess gain two. The one ring. down to three, then shoulder puts you to one, and then you'll scoop it up. GG! GG! Alright. It was good. It was a good game. Ragadash. You wish you could play the opponent, I know, but you can't. The defier you got. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Very few games lost today. I think I lost like. How many games did we lose in the five call, in the four color only trophy before? One or two. No, we lost two, I think. Yeah. We lost two games the whole day. That's not bad. Hope hopefully it continues. Um... Well, it has a uh, few lands and some spells. If your opponent plays creature, then it's a decent hand, I guess. DRC. Ledger Shredder. And then I'll go for an Orkish Bowmaster, kill the DRC. A nice little two on a Shriek Maw. That also stops you from looting. Or rather, disincentivizes from your looting. Okay, and you put it in the graveyard. And you pass. I think I want to destroy the steam vents there. Oh, something is happening. Okay. I think I'm gonna play Shieldred Edict now so that um, they play Spell Pierce, I get to loot. Sorry, they get to loot and I trigger the orc. Okay, go. You play well, Murktide? Play Ranged if you do play Murktide. I'll just play Domination, I think this is safer. Oh wow, Force, Peach Spell Pierce, you have no cards left. Impressive. You have zero cards left. Need Reiteration, not bad. Surveil to the, wow, okay, you don't have Delirium yet. Exar Ragavan. 
Hmm. I could have spelled peers. I think it's better to go rank now. Next turn, go like land a nation. You line bolt. Okay. You surveilled Hanoli Heat in the graveyard. You mark died. Beep, 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 beep. All right. GG. GG. Adds up as a. Okay, sideboard. Thoughtsies, I think it's good versus counter spell decks. Love Engineer. Do I want uh, some graveyard hate? Man, everything is good in this matchup, I think. Once again, taking a blood shift thirst, maybe some copy of the one ring. How does Nassif sideboard in this matchup? Why does he have plug engineer in the sideboard? This card doesn't seem good in modern. Did anybody of you watch the, the challenge that Nassif top 8 did? Does he trim uh, the one ring in this matchup? Mm. I don't know. Let's submit this. But we almost have black mana. Mirax is probably a trap. It shouldn't be in the deck. And give us a black mana next turn to play orc. Yeah, I think I'll go nuts with Spurs. I think Blazon I think Orc is too good to just be played it into counter magic. And I can't even play Orc instant speed because I don't have black mana in my opponent turn. So I can go demolition field to fix my mana and play Thoughtseize. We got Stevens untapped. Interesting. Yeah, I drew five colorless land. <laughs> to the people that want me to play Sign Blood. <laughs> I'll uh, thought the easier. Luster. Okay. We should have played a uh, Demolition Field over Blast Zone, but maybe, I don't know. This doesn't have my opponent to play one drops. Let's see. Hmm. 
Okay. Can I draw a swamp deck? Deck, can I get a swamp? Please. Uh, do I want to do something? Seven damage. Bird lawyer. I lost the game. I lost the game. Do I want back the bloodshed thirst? It is a great answer to Ledger Shredder. Game number three. Hopefully, I draw some swamps. Well, there's plenty of swamps. What planet is near for? I have no idea. Zero clues. I think the card is bad in Legacy, and I think it's bad also in Modern. You go bottom, bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna go Orc. A good old main phase Orc. Up and draw. Draw great. Attack attack. It white pass or play cling. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Missing line drop is not ideal, but I don't want to go out of my way to hit it. And trick. Nice. Nice. Some lands in a row is what I wanted. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I'll destroy a land end of turn. Fitting those graveyard for cling to dust. Nice whisper, I like that. I'll play land first, so I play around the spell peers. And I don't go to discard.
Wow. Okay. I want to play Orcish Bowmaster now. I think it's decent. I'll take my chance of resolving it. That's scary. Scary for them, I mean, but I feel like it's okay. I'll just kill it. Ooh. Okay, I will uh, go Shields with Edict then. And you will uh, have to, you're forced to loot now, so I'll shoot you for two. And attack four, six. You discarded a land. Yeah, main phasing those Bowmaster, I think. Played out well. This opponent was never able to counter them. And there are three life. And I still have all these in hand. Fury? Obsidian Charmall? That was unexpected. <laughs> That's very unexpected. I guess the game two I had old colorless lands. All right. Well, don't say that to my bird lawyer, please, Halky. Take it back. Hello, Tiago. Good morning. Let's see if I can go for a clean tano today. It'd be nice. It'd be nice if I go for a clean tano. Do I own all the cards for this deck is the question. Should I play this deck? Mono black. Should I play this deck? Actually, you know what? I might not own the nations. Let me check. I might not own three copies of Damnation. I don't think I've ever played that card in my life. Let's see. I do have Shield Grid here. One Damnation from Time Aspire Remastered. Two Damnation from Double Masters. I guess I must then. Oh, I only have two? No. I guess I have the third one in the cube. Hmm. I, I'm sure I never bought any damnation in my life, so those are just one that I must have opened in some drafts. Uh, no modern main event of Four Seasons. I'll play the Eternal... I'll play the European Legacy Masters. Mm, so I think that was the only card that I think I don't have. I don't have Necromancy, but I'm never going to play this card. What about the Plague Engineer? Should I play the Plague Engineer? Probably not, but like, what do I sideboard? Just four Chalice of the Void? Cascade matchup should be... Terrible, I guess. Yeah, Cascade decks don't seem great matchup. Let me just put Thomas Crypt over in his foul bomb. For Living End. Opponent said, uh, turn off your stream, I'm playing Amulet Titan. Thank you. You don't have to, but I appreciate uh, the... Because they know what I play, so they told me their deck. They go Forest or Bird Grazer. And they put Valkyrie to play, okay. And I'll go... Thoughtseize. Actually, I don't know what. 
Maybe I don't own four Queen to this. Anyway, Azusa Ring, Cultivator Colossus. Well, this hand is like not great. It's all about the one ring, so I'm taking it. Oh, John of Manno, will I see you at uh, Four season this weekend? Draw. Nantokling. Let's cast it. Mm. And I guess I'm gonna cling the Thoughtsies in the turn. It's not great. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It'd be bad if they were bounced when it's six mana just from Azusa. Uh, yeah, I'll cling the thoughts ease. This was okay. Okay, I think I have to kill Azusa, so I'll just do that in. Um... Well, my opponent upkeep is fine. Next turn we start jamming. This deck must have a terrible matchup against Tron and Amulet, right? Next time, next time. There's one every three there is one every three months and magic isn't going anywhere. So you 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 go to the next event. I guess we could play like Dumping Sphere for Tron. If we have like infinite free cyber slots. Which is what it seems to mean. Yeah, opponent chumps. Yeah, Shouldered is good against Colossus. Okay. That's Whispers free. Actually gains you life. E I guess I'll play more of them. There's a saga. Somehow I don't have any. They played a ring finally. Yeah. Play orc in response. Somehow I don't have any. Uh, the stone rain effect. Okay, that's shield red, which works with the ring even under. Even under the ring protection. Because it says lose two life. I'll uh, play my own ring. Draw. Damnation. Okay, no stone rain. Hope it doesn't matter. Draw with the ring. I'll uh, pink shield red. You lose two life, you go to seven. You get a six. You get a four. Pop the ring. You did. What's that another ring? And another one. You have six. Even in Legacy, Mono Black uh, does well. Yeah, Mono Black is very good. 
thankfully mostly of uh, the ring and the orc. I could die here. There's a world where I could die. I'd like to kill the saga. Noise. Alright, I can't die anymore. I don't like Bazich the Mirror now. I will not play it. Even if I decide to play this deck this weekend where that card is gonna be legal, I still think I will not play it. You don't have things to sacrifice. You already have a million floor drops. Like, you don't want to have Clunky Hand. You don't want to have more copies, I think, than uh, Shield Ridden the Ring. Sure, playing Legacy? Uh, way less because it's a legend, but you know, some decks play it. Caracas is a thing. You think Bazich would be very good in this deck? So on Friday I have an event and I can get uh, the copies of the cards. That's not a problem. But I, like if I think about playing this deck, I look at this list and I'm like, I don't, I don't have anything to sacrifice. You can sacrifice rings. I want to read it again. Maybe I can try one just to see. Allora, quattro mana. Let's say we don't bargain. You search for a card, you exactly face down the shuffle. And then you put a card in your hand. So it's a 4 mana Diabolic Tutor. Not a good card. But if you sacrifice an artifact, an enchantment, or a token, you can cast the 4 drop. Mirex, I don't want to play yet. If I have to play this deck again, I play 2 Swamps in the Mirex slot. You say if I need a spell and draw a card. Ooh, that's actually great. That's actually great. I don't like say if I see an orc token, I think it's it's a mistake. Like surely there are some games where you want, but like the orc tokens matter. The ring with fewer counters. Oh yeah, like it's a way to get rid of the ring, I guess. But I mean it's like all this. Like, it's a card that goes well if you're already doing something, you know? I think it's good with the new Spavon, though. That's for sure. But like, if the ring has five counters, how in the world you're not winning the game? Like, you have children and the ring. Yeah, single slot, maybe. Anyway, what I'm playing against, uh, I'm with a Titan. <laughs> Uh, Thoughtsies, Explosives, Necromancia, taking out Bloodship Thirst, I guess all the Clink to Dust? Is there a world where the, the rain kills me? I only have Shield Red. Clink to Dust is just not good here. Yeah, this, this this matchup seems really bad. Like I think I only won game one. I have seven. I don't know. I've lands and spells. I have two field of ruin, maybe. I'd love to cast Necromancy in this matchup. Probably, honestly, the reason why we play Necromancy is for I'm with a Titan and Tron. Like trying to guess you have the ruins, but like if you're on the draw, it's, you can't even do that. Like now the saga's too fast, I can't stone rain it. A bit more explosives, maybe. Like three explosives in this deck. Oh wow, they're actually bringing back this. No, never mind. They're bringing back the the chamber. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no answers for one black. Ghastly demise, no. Vendetta is that is that modern legal vendetta? Hmm. 
It is modern legal. I guess non-black. Non-black sucks. All right, they went for Vesuva. Okay. One is gonna have infinite mana. Her Titan, I lose. Did I bring in Chalice or did I forget? Oh, I forgot. All right, I'll bring that back for next game. Oh, wow. They don't have anything. That's great. That's great news. They don't have a... A 6-6. Six, six. Well, Whisper of a Signing Blood? I barely have a one black color on this. <laughs> yeah, there, there's many games where I didn't have uh, many black mana. Anyway, maybe I was not supposed to fill the ruin because that saga wouldn't have done anything. I guess I would have gotten. Um... Oh, this is nice. Sorry, thanks. Don't worry. I think I'll go nice with spurs. But a shield's an edict. Nah, I guess if they go Titan, I lose regardless. If they go Titan, I lose regardless. There's no way I beat Titan, so. They already have a bounce landing end. They just don't have Titan. Man. They could have got a they could have gotten, I guess, uh Tolera West. So yeah, I think it was a good play overall. <laughs> I'll play the ring. Actually, my opponent doesn't have anything. I think I'll just uh, shield it. I don't want card advantage. I need to kill you before you draw Pact Titan. Huge mistake to not bring in Chalice of the Void. And they have six cards in end. What do they have? All right. Now, let's bring in Chalice. A uh, what's bad? I think Domination is terrible. We should definitely have zero of this card. Oh, I guess Bloodshed Thirst is better. Orcish Bowmaster also sucks. If a Needle uh, really doesn't stop anything. Okay. Not great, but I'll uh fine. You can name Tolera West with Pithy Needle. Oh uh, yes, I guess. Maybe. Maybe it's better than Blotchy Thirst. I'll put it with turn one saga, but this time around we are very prepared since we are on the play. We have the advantage of being on the play now. 
and they don't even have an amulet. Wow, they do. Where's the one go? You have so little black mana, that's crazy. <laughs> Up the saga. You got Amulet. Forest. Azusa. Go. Island. And you missed the land drop. The four spells in hand. You have four spells in hand. I think it just goes shield red. So we need to start beat downing. We need a clock. Three mana, dryad. We still have no lands, so who cares? Just go around and start drawing. I can go around and start drawing. When it goes amulet to uh, bounce land, maybe I want to keep up mana for the field of ruin. They need like amulet. Exactly. Like I should take this chance to tap there to use the ring and then we'll see. Go to 12. That's okay. Don't go amulet bounce land because then it would lose. They even have the Nicosian gardens. I basically just decided to take this risk. They need like amulet in hand. They already have used to. Yeah, we trophy. We haven't lost yet today. We have mono black. Okay, so they go Bujuka Bog as a first land and exile themselves. Weird. Spoiler. I mean, if you watch the if you watch Twitch live, you'll get spoiler for YouTube. Obviously, I mean. Okay, something is happening. What is it? Green, green, green. Hindu hands. I think I'll uh, tap this ring. I, unfortunately, I can't stop you. You have killed my creatures. I don't have a way. Now. Now. I think I want to go Bloodship Thirst on Azusa so that my Edict is live for a Titan. I obviously don't care much about Azusa, but it's mostly this for the Titan. <laughs> the first time in a long time that Shields of Edict doesn't actually kill the creature I want to kill. 
It hasn't happened in a while. Okay. Bouncing's kind of scary when I have a uh, field of ruins. Your return to make a sink garden. So, okay. And now I play Orc, which is, uh, you know, again, very bad in the matchup. I'm aside out if you play like a normal deck, but I just don't have a. Uh, don't have much to bring in here. Just raise the alarm is gonna do it, hopefully. Thought seized. House of the Void is gonna stop the packs. I don't have it, of course, but I might draw it. Okay, so first I want to stone rain that so you can't play. Titan next turn. Uh, do I want to play Knight's Whisper as well, I guess. I believe it's impossible for you to play a Titan next turn. So I'm just going for another Knight's Whisper to look for a Chalice of the Void. Next turn I can draw four, five cards. Five cards I draw next turn. Oh, there it is. She was hiding in the corner. A shouldered. I think I'm gonna wait. I had another one here. Weird. All right. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pass. All right. Get a four. <laughs> I can play Titan now. Why do you play Mirrorix? It was in the safe uh, updated list, but I don't, I don't think it's good. I have already a shield right hand. Yeah. I'm sorry. Woo! 4 0. Can we go for the back to back trophy today? 9-0 on the day. Man, I love this deck. Oh. Did you tweet about Mono Black yesterday? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I've never played this deck before. This is Nasif. Hmm. Playing against... Uh, a very good Italian control player, the Aaron Cajera. Riccardo Biava. Good testing for four seasons, I guess. He's 3 0, and we draw a little push. Okay, nothing going on. I think I'm just gonna cycle this. Imagine if you go Charles of the Void. Whoa, they don't have a third land, it seems. 
our fourth land. I think I want to fill the ruin now. This way, if they have memory deluge, they're going to discard. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, should have waited end of turn. Okay, they don't float mana anyway. Yeah, Mirex, maybe you can win us the game. Bro. Yeah, Mirex. The Nassif special. I guess Nassif is ready for the French meta game where everybody plays control. That's why he had Mirex. Okay, they shocked. Is that a ring? It's a ring. Okay, yeah, this deck doesn't deal very well with um with the one ring. Just main phase or can ping me. Think so? I think about uh, subtlety. My opponent is the Italian Blue Web Master. And they always play blue white. Okay, to go for subtlety, pitching supreme verdict. I guess it was a right. Oh, I guess it was not a bad play then. Do you ever miss being able to click on pets on Arena? I sure don't even play with pets anymore on Arena whenever I played the Arena Open because it's, it was very laggy. So, no, I don't miss. I honestly don't miss anything about Arena except for like the huge pay out things, but I wouldn't even be winning them <laughs> these days, <laughs> so I really don't. Okay, let's go cling on a land. And then let's play Orkish Bowmaster. And now let's ping you. Hello boss, yeah, it's not safe list with minor changes. They solitude, pitching Lila and binding the orc. Okay. And they bounce the might. Draw. So attack the fairy. And then I'm gonna go knights whispers. And then I'm gonna go Shieldred. The counter spell uh, I lose regardless here. So. Yeah, this is Biala. Okay. I don't miss the more simplistic UI. I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. A, magic speaking, I'm old. I'm very used to magic online ever since I was. Twenty, so I guess uh, it's really hard that I misclick or you know do something like that. Whereas on arena, it keeps on happening. Yeah, if you guys remember, I played my opponent deck in one of the videos, and I was playing with uh, the the Blood Moon, and people went crazy about it, and I also didn't like it. I and mean, here it is, Bloodman. I remember, you can check it, it's in my, my last videos. Must, 
because I, I played against him at LMS Bologna and he beat me and then he went, I believe, uh, 20 plays in that event, which was a two-day, 600-people event. And he was flashing blue-white for Blood Moon. But he also had Leyline Binding in it, which was very weird. I think this matchup is terrible. I think it's not going to be a trophy. No back-to-back -back trophies for us, I think. And you can check out the podcast. We talk about uh, previews. Last episode. Oh, wow. Do they die? E okay. They don't die, unfortunately. I wish they died. They didn't. You have 11 cards in end. Should probably give up. It just passed. I guess I'm not giving up. I'll go shows an edict. Control spell. I'll go cling to dust. Cling to dust. Again, very important life. It was a return cat here. All right, what does he do? Now, let's side out. Push. Domination. Bring in Thoughtseize. Pithy Needle. Necromancia. And he has spell bomb. Yeah, the cyber doesn't seem good, but unfortunately, I think it's just the nature of the color. Like, black doesn't offer good cyber cards. Um, this is just a can trip. This is a card, but I think it's just very weak. I think I just bought him the... Like a drug... Have a can trip.
good thoughts is now. Freeze the path for the one ring. I'm definitely jamming the one ring. Ooh, that's late I'm binding. Oh, I guess I'm passing then. The problem, like if this was white removal spells, I would be able to kill the ring. As it is, I, I, I don't have anything to kill the ring. My deck just, like, I can have a thin needle, but... I think you just coop the match, I think. It's fine. Unfortunately, you know, we got a... What a tough matchup. It's not even popular. It's not even a popular matchup. Yeah, it's fine. It's not concede. All right, no trophies, unfortunate last match, but it's okay. I think the deck is good. Uh, Bezich the mirror. Should I play it? Should I try it? Should I play? Should I try it? Maybe. Uh, but you know, nonetheless, it was a great show, and uh, thank you everybody for watching. Again, if you watch on uh, YouTube, um, just make sure to. Uh, check out the next videos that come out every day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.